the great names welcomed warmly as ever at the start of road racing proper. 42.1 kilometres to go, it's a minute and 41, and we have our breakaway. They've had about, what, six and a half minutes as a maximum, but they've been sharing the spoils as far as the intermediate sprints and the climbs are concerned. But it's destined to come down to one heck of a sprint finish today. Here's your altimetry. This is where we are. 35.9 kilometres to go. This is spinning through very quickly, Dan. Yeah, it is. They'll be uh, going quicker and quicker as this circuit uh, continues as well. Told you it was dodgy, and we have had a bump or two. Riders still static and waiting. Nobody injured. It looks like it was a slow one, but uh, Steph Clement is amongst those who've gone down. He's checking himself. His bike is being checked at the moment. So, Movistar, it is looking after the blue jersey just for now. I'm just wondering if they've got any uh, proper sprint options today. It's, a, it's going to be a big ask for them, I'm afraid, especially in this elevated company that we've got. Almost coming to a dead stop with this big turn right now. A lot to be dealt with in terms of street furniture, and they're giving it the due respect that it requires along the way. Only 11.9 to go, and it's a bit of a mess on the approach. It could get messy later as well as the speeds start to pick up. A little bit of a hiatus just for the time being, as you can see, courtesy of the road furniture. But all of a sudden, they're just looking at each other and uh, strategizing, I think, on our final approach. Lamprey with an option. Sasha Modolo is their quick man, and the men in pink are here. Likewise, the Magpies, the uh, MTN Quebecer. There they are, just looming large right now. And what a feast they can produce of sprinters. They've got Cholik will take an early turn. Edvard Bosenhagen, Tyler Farrar, and of course, Matt Harley-Goss. 2.3 Ks to go, but you can see the speed. You can see how strong the peloton is there behind. Derek Stieber takes it up at the front, but it's Giant Alperson riders who's gone on his wheel. He's just checking behind to see where Mark Cavendish is. He's got a glimpse, so he'll keep the pace high now because Cavendish starting to run out of lead out men. He's still just got Mark Renshaw in front of him. Well, Viviani would be my pick for today. He's a fast finisher, but can he get the manpower around him? Big, big question. He's on form for Team Sky. He's a little man, a whippy man, and he might well have to crack that whip hand, but it, uh, for the time being, it's MTN Quebec that are dominating. They're picking this up beautifully. The road does widen here. It's uh, 1.6 to go. Almost a dismissive look from Stebar, who seems to have lost his men. Uh, Quebec don't know. They, they, I think it's a surprise to them that they're in this kind of situation. Go for it, boys. If this is your day, then take control of it and use it. 1,400 metres with this little tiny uh, bleed towards the right and then a couple of shimmies they're going to have as well there. Oh, look, and uh, Sagan gets himself into position. So is Mark Cavendish, as you can see. He's just bedded in at the moment uh, behind the uh, Katusha boys. They've taken the graphic away because we're further out than we thought, but this is the approach. Here we are, big charge. It's a long one as well. Oh, plenty of options, and uh, poor Sef is looking very, very handy for Katusha here. They weave all over the place. It's Mark Renshaw leading out Mark Cavendish. The pair of them left now, and it's time to go, go, go. Hey, Balboza. Nagan is still holding on to it. Bakos picks up. He's doing this for Tyler Farrar. Farrar looks. He looks. He looks again. So does Bakos. Oh. He's holding on. We've got a man down in the pack from Sky. It's Viviani that's gone. So that cast them asunder. Oh, it's the Belgian champion that hits the front. Superb effort. Weaving all over the road. Debuchet's going to make it. Oh, he does so. What a performance that was from Lotto Soudal. They left it very, very late. But the Belgian trickler hits the line first as others hit the deck here. Drama on the Tirreno. We knew it may happen, and so it has proven. We thought it might be rough, but Jens Debeshare made it smooth as silk. What a surprise! The only thing that's certain on the Tirreno Adriatico is uncertainty itself. Here's your overall standings. Malori stays in the lead. Sagan on the same time, courtesy of his bonuses for finishing second today. Cancellara, one second off.